Imagine going into Unity and you have 1000 swords that are virtually the same, but each of them have a different type of blade. Now, all 1000 of these swords are going to do the exact same thing, right? They're going to do a swing for when they're attacking, so you want to animate them. Now to set up the animation, you would go into the animator, create an animation, set up the animation, set up the keyframes of the animation, place the sprites with the correct ones. You get the point, right? A thousand of that is not going to be fun. But what if I told you there's a way to do this with just one animator? Now by the end of this video you will have a clear idea on exactly how to do this without the need of any code. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm currently doing a devlog series for my upcoming game, Thorn. Now, in my latest video I created a tool to essentially procedurally generate weapons. Anyways, my idea for this was to have seemingly infinite weapons that act in the same ways but just look visually different. Well, towards the end of that video, I was struggling to come up with an idea on how to animate these weapons in a way that is consistent to the game's art style, but would also work seamlessly with weapon switching without me needing to worry about the code of switching weapons without animators or event triggers for which animation needed to be played. So after a bit of research, I figured out a solution to it and I decided to make a quick tutorial on how I did it as the solution isn't something that I feel like is widely known but is an amazing alternative to animations that are the same, but just have slight cosmetic differences. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so as you can see, I've just gone into a sprite and I've drawn up some very simple uh, weapon animations here. Um, it's just a very simple left and right swing. Um, the key thing to note here though, is that for each weapon that I'm using, and this will be the same to apply for any sort of animation that you want to reuse with the animator. Um, if, you know, say like it's a character walking, they need to have the exact same frame count. So what I mean by that is you can see in this instance here, for this very simple axe, it's one, two, three, four, okay? And that's the same for all of the weapons I'm using, okay? All of them are one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, so if we go inside of Unity, you've imported your um, sprites. I've already done that. I've already fixed up the pixels per unit I've, and all the uh, compression settings. You split them up into their count, one, two, three, four. Um, normally what you would do is you'd go into like the animation, create the animator, click here, you know, weapon swing one, um, and that will, you just like import all of the uh, animations here into the animator, right? And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're doing like, let's, let's like, I, like I said, you know, if you've got heaps of weapons that you're animating, you kind of don't want to, you know, have tons of those. Um, it does get a bit tedious and it becomes, you know, a bit difficult to keep track of as well. So it's nicer to have just one animation, one animator, and all you have to do, all it does is automatically just flips out the uh, keyframes essentially. So. Um, I'm not too sure which Unity version brought this in. I'm using 2021.3.13. It's already got it in. Um, inside of the package manager, it's part of the 2D package. Okay, so if you if that's not installed yet, you know, just find that through the package manager. Um, and what you want to do is, so normally you could create, you know, you can create the animation through here. But what we're going to do is we'll go 2D and we'll create a new sprite library asset, okay? And we'll call this our weapon one, right? That's gonna correlate to the weapon swing here. Now, what you wanna do is uh, create inside of the inspector of this object. So you just press, click onto it. Um, now for every animation that you've got, so let's say it is a character instead of a uh, weapon. You know, you've got an idling, you've got a walking, you've got a running. Each of these that you create will be the animation, okay? So obviously for weapons, I'm just doing a swinging animation. And now the entry, what this is, this part here, these are the frames that we're using. So for every uh, animation or for every sprite that you're using, that's what uh, will go into here. And you wanna put them, you wanna make sure that they are in order as well, okay? So if we hit apply to that, this weapon one is gonna act as our sort of like master weapon, okay? Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go create, you wanna do the same thing, sprite library asset, 
call this weapon two. Now, instead of just creating a empty category here and redoing it, you actually want to use our weapon one, our main reference. And if you hit apply, it's going to come up with the same four sprites. So you can actually just switch those out for the new ones that we're using. Okay, and you hit apply to that again. Now it's important that for each of the uh, weapons we're using, or for every animation, that we're always referencing just a single one. So we always want to uh, reference the weapon one, which is the one we created here. So like, you know, we could create like a better name for it, which would be like weapon master or something, but I've just called this one weapon one just to match the uh, namings that I've used before. Okay, so we'll just quickly finish this off and we'll make sure that all of the uh, weapons here are <clears throat> populated. So again, we want to make sure we're we referencing weapon one and we'll just replace the final sprites here. Yeah, okay, perfect. And again, hit apply. Perfect. So what we'll do inside of our scene is we're going to create an empty game object We'll just call this our weapon main, okay? So obviously it's an empty game object at the moment, can't see anything. You can create like a tag just to be able to see it inside of the screen. But at the moment it does nothing. However, what we want to do is inside of the inspector of this object, we want to add two components and that's through the 2D animation. So you can either look them up or just click them through here. Um, but it's the sprite library and the sprite resolver. Okay, so inside of the sprite library part, we want to just reference, we can do any any of these four, it doesn't matter, um, but we'll just use number one just to keep it consistent. Okay, and we will say the swinging. So you can see here that one, two, three, four. Those are the animations that we've got just in the left, uh, just in the right here. Okay. So we haven't set up an animator for it just yet, but what we'll do is inside of weapon main, create a weapon, uh, sorry, we'll create an animator for it. And we'll just call this weapon swing. And we'll just save that as well, okay? Get rid of this tag just so we don't see it at the moment. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna add a property to this animation and we wanna go on the sprite resolver we want to right click that and we want to add the properties to it okay and we'll delete the last keyframe here but as you can see we've got just an empty you know nothing's nothing's been added just yet which is fine so what we'll do is inside of here we want to make sure that the sprite resolver in the category is set to the one that we're currently animating and for this case it is the weapon swinging okay so that's what we've got here and we'll hit the record button okay and we wanna make sure that for each of these, they're in the correct spot. So we'll hit the, we'll go to about 0.05 and we'll hit the next one. 0.01, hit the next animation and 0.15, we'll hit the final one. And I'll also just add a keyframe here, just so it's got the R, uh, just so it ends correctly. All right, one, we can't actually see anything just yet. That's fine. We do need a sprite renderer for it. And two, it's not animating just yet. I think we need to add in the sprite renderer as well. Oh no, it's there. Okay, but if you hit play, nothing's being added in just yet, which is, you know, it's a bit strange. Why is that happening? Well, because it's clearly animating. But that's to do with the, um, the actual uh, time here, the sprite key, okay? And it's because of uh, how it's like sort of linearly interpolating between the values. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to highlight all of these and we want to set it to be broken, okay? We also want to go right click again, both tangents and just set it to be constant. So now if we hit play, yep, that's animating correctly. Look at that. Now, the way that we're going to be switching these out is by simply going into the sprite library inside of the uh, inspector, sprite library asset, we hit weapon two or weapon three, whichever one you want to switch to. And as you can see, the keyframes, which are matched up here, have linked up perfectly. 
okay wonderful isn't that great <laughs> all right so i'm also going to take this a step further so obviously you can leave it there but what i'll do here is i've got a script that i've set up here okay and to access the sort of um components of the animation library we want to make sure we're using unity engine.u2d.animation okay so that way we can add access the sprite library access the sprite resolver anything that we need to through the animation package okay and we'll have two things here Oops. we'll have a public sprite library and this will be our ax uh, this will be our reference to the sprite library just this one here Okay, and we'll drag in the script as well, and we'll chuck in the sprite library. So that's set up. And then we'll also create a sprite library asset. And this one will just be an array, and we'll just call this weapon refs. Okay. Go back into our project, let that compile. And inside of our weapon refs, any um, sprite library assets that we created we can just drag them straight into here now. So I've got the four here, okay? Now, what we'll do is inside of our update, just to show that this is working, every time we click the, uh, the left mouse button, what we wanna do is we wanna get the sprite library and we wanna get the sprite library asset, okay? So that, this part here, is directly referencing this uh, this whatever the sprite library asset is here okay and we want to uh, set that to be something else so we'll say it's gonna be set to the weapon refs at a and obviously because it's a an array we want it at a direct point so we'll say random dot range zero and then we'll make sure it's can loop through the entire length of the array here. So that's all we need to do there. Now, anytime we click uh, the left mouse button, these will be switching out. Okay. So you can see it's animating and it's switching to a, a random one each time. Awesome. So literally as simple as that, we've animated one object but it's animated infinite, essentially. You know, we, as long as, you know, as I mentioned, as long as they have the same uh, frame count, then they're gonna do the exact same thing. So whether that's characters, movement, running, you know, weapons. I think weapons is one of the greatest, like sort of examples you can use for it. There's so many, so many possibilities that you can do with this and it's gonna save so much time. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.